guys, Mauricio here with GracefulGrizzly.com and this is Righteous Reviews. We've got an awesome review for you and this is going to be a review on the perfect jean. I know that that's kind of like a crazy thing to say. No, nobody has the perfect pair of jeans, but some of you guys do. And we're going to review this company called The Perfect Jean uh, NYC. And so they're a New York based company and they sent me some jeans that look great. And so we're gonna review some of them. Uh, we've got two pairs. We've got the Slim Admiral in mid blue, and the price point is about $79.99. And we also have this Slim Knight, which is in a dark blue, okay? Both are 36, 32, that's my size. And um, the price point for the Slim Knight in dark blue is $79.99. So, a little pricier, a little pricier on the jeans, but the idea is that these need to be high quality jeans. They say they're the perfect pair, and so let's see if the if it you know lives up to that. And so um, I'm going to be trying them on, couple pairs of um, shoes as well as um, some different color shirts, so that you can kind of see the contrast of what they go with. And so hopefully you'll be able to get a good idea of the perfect gene, according to the perfect gene company. And if you like them, if you don't like them, if they're worth the money, this is definitely a honest review on the perfect gene. All right, guys. So this is a deeper look into the Slim Admiral Mid Blue. And so just to kind of, it's got that pocket right here. It's got a couple pockets. Um, I love the faded design. If you look at this design, it's very, very faded, very good material. And so, um, I love the stitching. If you look at the stitching now, again, this is a 79, uh, 99 pair of jeans. Okay. So you're paying 80 bucks for these jeans. And so you would think, all right, I want this stitching perfect. So it is very, very good. Um, it's very, very flexible. And so the big thing with them is that they want a jean that does not crush you. Um, when you wear them. And so right here, look at the design, look at the work on here. That's why you can kind of tell this is a more higher end, more expensive jean. And if you look at the tag, you've got cotton, you've got polyester, which is, you know, really, really nice. And the spandex, which is 2%, um, is, is kind of like, oh, okay, cool. And so again, companies based in New York, made in Bangladesh. Hmm. All right. And so I love it. The 2% spandex, you really feel it. You really feel when you kind of put them on that they mold and that they don't outstretch. Okay, that they don't outstretch. So the stitching inside is beautiful. I love this. Uh, let's see the back here. Um, you don't have a, a back. Usually you have some kind of um, label here that kind of says where the jeans are. You don't have that here. Uh, regular belts fit. Great pattern and I love how it's really expertly faded. I These are probably out of the two, I would wear these um, more often than the other ones only because the other ones are just a little too nice and they're a little too dressy. I like to wear jeans and boots and a t-shirt most days um, and I live in Pennsylvania and so sometimes it'll be cold so I'll throw on some jeans. So man, I love it. Feels great. Very much spandex. Um, you can feel the waistband right here. Perfect. So I could have even gone away with getting a 34 um, if I wanted to, but I think 36 was the safe bet. And so if you, um, you know, want to buy a pair of these jeans, just know with the spandex in the waistband, it will fit um, whatever. It's true to size, but if you want to go a size maybe a little bit lower, you can because of the way they are built. And so let's check out the bottom. And so I love it because this typically I don't like too long. I like it a little shorter because they look better in boots. Um, I'm not going full bell bottoms here. They look very cool rolled up. And so I wore these rolled up. Um, and if you wear them with a pair of boots rolled up, that's pretty good. They're a little wide when you roll them, but other than that, they're great. All right, guys. So this is the Slim Admiral in mid blue. And this is the more faded of the two. And I like them. I like them a whole lot. Um, my wife actually said that these look way better um, than the other ones. And so I want to say these are 
very, very good. They're slim, so they'll fit, um, but look how much room I have if I stretch this out. Um, as well as the waistband, I've got room there. Very, very comfortable jeans. I will say probably one of the, close to one of the best pairs of um, comfortable jeans that I have right now. And I have All Saints jeans. I have, um, you know, Paxson jeans. I've had, um, you know, Forever 21 jeans. These right here are probably the most comfortable jeans I have. And they look, um, the look itself is very nice. So definitely, um, and you can tell one is rolled up. If you wear them rolled up and one is not rolled up. And those kind of look good when they're baggy on the bottom. So definitely, um, these are good. Again, these are $79.99. So it's kind of a big price point for jeans. But I will tell you, I would pay that for how comfortable I feel in these jeans. All right, guys. So this is the Slim Knight, and this is in dark blue. And as you can tell, it is way darker than the faded jeans. And this is very much playing on the cool tones. You definitely want to have these and wear these with darker outfits or a lighter top, like a white shirt or, you know, something in that vein, maybe a, a nice button down. Buttons are beautiful. Again, the cooler tone, it's like a gray gunmetal color. You got the pocket here, which is great. Um, as you can tell, look at that. Beautiful designed jeans. Um, I would say would I say perfect? Uh, we'll see, right? <laughs> I wore these for a week and so far they haven't been too bad. Again, it's got the um, cotton, it's got the polyester and it's got the spandex, which makes it kind of stretch a little bit. These are a little stretchier than the other jeans and especially on the hips. So you put them on and you're like, oh, I've got a little bit of uh, wiggle room here. Um, I'm sure that as we wash them and as we dry them, um, you know, later, I don't like to wash my jeans right away. I like to kind of have a little bit of wiggle room. Um, they will fit better. And so slim fit, don't go skinny if you're over 30, just kidding. Um, darker, darker tones with, look at that beautiful, um, seam. You don't see the stitching, which I like in darker jeans, which is typically in darker jeans. And let's look at the bottom here. And so nice, uh, looks very nice. Again, this looks nice rolled up. So if you like to roll up your jeans, go ahead and wear them. Um, rolled up and have the boots on or uh, wear a pair of Adidas. I do Adidas sometimes with no-show socks and that looks really All right guys, so these right here, the Slim Knights, and they are the darker color that I was uh, mentioning. Um, I've got the more dressy shoes on. Um, these are actually matte um and no show socks so basically yeah so you really have these if you want to wear more you know a little more dressy i like them i like how they're dark blue dark blue is hard to pull off i've got the white tee just to kind of you know give an idea of what you could wear with it uh white tee you've got the black shoes and i've got these these again are stretchy but as you can tell they're a little you know they're a little wider on on the sides on the hips and so I would wear these, um, definitely could go tucked in as well. If you want to go full tucked in, you can with a nice button down. And so as you can tell, the color is a lot darker. And if I get into the light here, let me see if I'm able to put the light and focus on the jeans. You can kind of tell the color right there. And so definitely, um, you know, just a nice pair of jeans. Uh, again, I'm wearing these nicer shoes. You can wear boots. You can wear all these. But yeah, just as comfortable as the first pair, but not for every day and not, you know, something that you can pull off all the time. It's kind of one of those jeans that you pull out on special occasions. If you go to a Christmas party, you know, you want to wear something uh, decent and comfortable. These are it. These are the jeans for the Christmas party, guys. Um, Thanksgiving holidays, these are it right here. The faded jeans are great for if you just want to wear jeans all the time. And so these are great. This is a good alternative, guys, for if you're transitioning <laughs> from skinny jeans to slim fit. Um, this is a great transition because they're comfortable, they fit well, and they also, you know, aren't super baggy because I don't like super baggy jeans, but I like jeans that fit. And so these really molded to, um, you know, what I was kind of looking for in a jean. These were great. And so I would definitely wear these, um, 
you know, like I said, on special occasions and, you know, look halfway decent. So yeah, these were um, the Slim Knights in dark blue. All right guys, just wanted to do a quick color comparison. Here is the faded and here's the mid blue. So as you can tell, all right, a little different there, a little different. Um, boom, boom. So yeah, so there's definitely a difference um, and it depends on what you want and what style you need. Hey, what's going on guys? So overall impressions of the, of the jeans, man, are they the perfect jean? Cause that's their name. And so we have to judge them by what they're advertising. And so if you're looking for jeans that don't really feel a whole lot like jeans when you wear them, but they look like jeans for sure, um, I would definitely go with these. These are, they're so comfortable that you don't feel like you're wearing jeans. Um, great fading, great quality. Um, the darker ones looked great. The lighter ones looked great. Um, I would say, I would say for $79.99, um, they definitely hit their price point. They definitely hit their price point. I would think that they would last a long time. And definitely I would say if you're shopping around and you don't want to pay $200 for jeans and you don't want to pay $20 for jeans, you want something that's like, I want to buy good jeans that are going to last a long time. I would go with these. Um, very, very stretchy, very, very comfortable. You can wear these all the time and feel like, okay, I can, you know, move, move around, pick stuff up, do whatever I'm doing, but still feel comfortable enough that I'm wearing jeans and that I look decent. Um, I would, I would recommend these. I would definitely recommend these. They are nice. They're definitely great. And I would, I would wear them all the time if, jeans were required but it's summer and so i'm wearing shorts mainly so yeah guys let us know in the comment section perfect jeans not perfect jeans what do you think of the color what do you think of the variance between the faded non-faded let us know um definitely you know price points out there whatever you guys think let us know in the comments because we definitely want your opinion on stuff and if you want anything reviewed let us know and we will um scour the internet to make sure that we get the product for you guys and Hopefully, if uh, this review is helpful, you know, leave us a like, comment. We comment back pretty quickly. Um, and so let us know what you think. Perfect jeans. Are they perfect? Let us know in the comment section. And this is Mauricio from GracefulGrizzly.com. And check out our podcast uh, that airs every two weeks on a Tuesday. And um, let us know what you think of that. All right, guys. So this was Righteous Reviews. Uh, see you soon. Oh, and before I forget... Remember, Graceful Grizzly, we're trying to bring grace into a grizzly world.